I'm here today in Linz, 2009 Capital of Culture, talking with Petronella Hohenwarte, the award-winning international artist from Germany. I started close to 12 years ago and uh, I was a former social pedagogic uh, teacher. I was trained as a traumatic coach and then I started to become an artist and I didn't start it, uh, started art in uh, Germany or in Austria. I was more into the Southeast Asia culture so I decided to become an art student in the uh, University of Solo in uh, Java in Indonesia. I wanted to, to go for my desire or my intuition, and so I followed my call and I, I ended up to start it, uh, uh, to become an artist and started art very normal and very based in on the university. And I was very inspired by the people and by the tradition and by the culture of the Indonesians. In the beginning I was very into the uh, monochrome work, very abstract expressionism. And then I decide, I mean, I'm, it's not a decision what I have made through my mind. It was like I joined some symposi symposiums and then I had um, a few work which was called uh, In Touch. So the work series, which was my first main series, which uh, started in 1999 and it was uh, developed till 2002. And I was uh, winning the Deputant Award by the Bavarian uh, Art Association. It was the In Touch work first and then it came the series Existence of Universe, which was a big part of myself, which I found uh, the the call of, of to become really an artist and to doing this professionally and keep on working with this and develop and develop and develop this. Then I ended up to, uh, right now to keep on working since six years with my main series which is called Existence of Love. And uh, of course you can see through all of my work the, um, the type of, of how I'm using the brushes, how I'm using, using the colors, but it's not like that I'm doing this uh, mainly because I'm trained in this. It's ju I'm just following this, which is coming along in every single work. What I'm doing, it's like a work by itself, but it's also in a combination of a bigger um, story and a bigger background be uh, beyond. I did uh, public art, which I was painting on walls on the street. Um, but then I was uh, uh, searching for used material. I mean, like uh, what you can see here, some oil cans or, or stuff which you can find in garbage places or like uh, in every household at home. So then I was um, developing also like my style in the graphic work, uh, print graphic, and I was uh, more into the media of print graphic lithography, etching and woodcut. I'm using every material, if it's canvas, if it's paper, if it's a wall, if it's a, a, a cloth, if it's an oil can, if it's, it could be a car as well, you know, I never mind. It's just the way of, if it's possible, if it's talking with me, this material, and then I can start to go ahead with this. And part of the existence of love is like um, a work series, which was uh, the second part of the existence of universe versus individuality. And love is not only for me a word, it's because this word is misused so often and it's like a cliche. So if you see my work, which is here beside me, it's like a part of my own expression, who I am and where I am and what I'm doing. So it's like every single color has a meaning beyond. For me, is love an expression of an energy, which is the biggest, highest energy in my life. Because as an artist I see always both sides, which is sometimes you have to go through or you have to accept a lot of things which is beside you, what is going on in, in the world around me. But um, I think the most uh, important sense is for me uh, that I realize that I have got a big part inside of me, which is um, doing white, uh, it's a, it's a it's a sensibility and for me is love a sort of a freedom which gives me freedom and mostly in the way of if I love myself, if I do something which I really love, which I really like, which I'm really inspired by. So I put all of this energy, all this, uh, all this creativity into this and then of course then you see this in a result. I just cannot do it 50%, I just can do it 100%.
customer came into my studio and just got in front of a work, which was actually here posed behind me, it's the Temple of Revelation. And she started to keep in silence, go in silence, and she was sitting in front of the work and she said, hey, it's amazing. This work really starts to talk with me. I can see, I can smell a sea, I can uh, smell a, uh, uh, the sound of this work. And I was really impressed by this, how deep she go into the spirit of this work. She was quite sitting 20 minutes in front of this work and was totally silent. And afterwards she told me all of this, what she realized through this work. And that was a big impression for me because that is not very often happened, you know. And of course, in the beginning, it's like always a big expression, which I put on the canvas, for example. And then I kept going and then I start and then I go back, come again to the work. And then sometimes it's like that a work don't talk with me. And then I have to, to find rest with this work and I could continue perhaps a month later or two months later. And then I keep going back again, start with another work. So it's always a sort of dialogue, but a very silent dialogue. I jumped out from a very regular uh, systemic life and I have found uh, my call, I found my intuition and I followed up this. And so it's a big inspiration. I don't know where this is guiding me and leading me, but I trust into my soul and I trust into my intelligence, what I have got uh, since I'm born. So it's a part of what I think it's very important to, to spread out to, to the people. It's like, believe in yourself. Believe in yourself, what you're doing and get it going. And this is very important. That's the only thing what is what made us right now in this life. What's coming up in the future? I mean, in the next future, let's say in the next couple of work, I'm preparing right now my art project, which I'm doing since 2004, which is called Takeaway Art. And this is a project which I started in Indonesia, I mean, a couple of years ago, which shows me art is something which has a value inside, but it's also very easily to give away. You give something away with this message. And um, I'm doing this in Vienna, and I'm very happy to, uh, to get presented by Vienna Hub. And uh, Vienna has some, and this project, what I'm doing is for me like um, a collage work. It's like assembl assemblages, it's like chimic work which is, um, for me, I can express a voice, a visual voice, a voice and also uh, lyrics and, and some, some letters which is written on my work and which is a reflection of the everyday life. And um, I would like to, uh, to give us a message away which uh, shows the people, hey, you can say everything what you want. Uh, just open your uh, eyes and get, uh, get fascinated by, by this, what, uh, what you get in this uh, short moment. And Vienna is um, very great because it's a space for me. Uh, it's a town which you can find so many international vibrations you can get, but so also a lot of national vibrations. And I mean, I'm born in Bavaria and I think very, I'm very similar with the Austrian culture. And I like this flair, which is still existing in Vienna. It has something very, very unique, very old, very traditional, which is uh, for me very interesting because I frame my work with very old uh, Baroque frames, with old uh, Jugendstil frames, and it's like sh it shows my contemporary work, and then it's a, a unit again, and uh, I like the, the atmosphere which is going ahead in this place where I'm going uh, to show my uh, project, and um, I'm very inspired by the city, and I think it's not uh, the the only thing what I'm going to do there. So, I'm I'm looking forward to do some more shows there, to do some more uh, creativity stuff, and then whoever knows what's going on. I mean, I have seen already a few pots from uh, from some different places in around the world. So, for me, it's right now interesting to be on the spot in Vienna, and whoever knows what's coming uh, along the next time. <laughs>